Welcome to another episode of Tots, Tales of the South. Randy's Reigns. All day. All right. With new info, new stories. Last, since last episode, there's been a lot of new things coming up, a lot of new information, a lot of things happening. Exactly. A lot of, uh, a lot of, let's just say a lot of interesting characters. Looks like they've, uh, getting out of a uh, freaking, uh, Getting out of jail. Getting you know. out of the dungeons. Or they're already Cassidy. out? Or are they still in? Are they out? Yeah. They don't know. Who's the first one that should we uh, say that well, has f- been liberated? I think it was uh, the first one liberated. I think it's uh, Vicente Zambada. Mm. Yeah, he's the first one. But he, He's I, in there, what, 12 years? He's been in there for like more, like 12 years, man. Yeah, That's rough. Didn't, didn't he go in like in 08? Mm, around there but you understand you know he spent like four years in solitary confinement oh man so i don't know imagine how that four years in solitary confinement that shit fucks people up so i people are saying that they don't know if he's gonna go stay here or go back to mexico but i don't know man i think if he goes down there man there might be like there might be some like problems going down there. Why? For the people who don't know why. Well, I, well he testified against El Chapo so I don't know, man. That looks like there's some conflict might be brewing there. If he goes, well, maybe he'll just stay in, you know, live in Canada or the U.S. So I don't mm-hmm. who knows. He's in witness protection, so probably has a different identity. If he's in witness protection, they won't allow him to go back to Mexico. Probably has a different name, like freaking what's it called? I don't know. He changed I, everything. I think we should give the people a little backstory for that whole thing, how it all started. This started back in 2008, 2007. Well, basically. Basically, uh, he made a deal with the U.S. government to testify against people in the Sinaloa cartel. And, um, yeah, he just, uh, you actually really want to find out. You just got to get Show this him the book. Show him the book. Get this book. It's a really good book by Annabelle Hernandez. It's called The Traitor. So, or in Spanish, I, uh, El Traidor. Yeah. So, Try find it. It's either in Spanish or and maybe I think it's English I think too. It should be in English now. English too in Spanish. But if you want the whole story on that, get that book. It's gonna tell you a lot of interesting information. Just to it's, show you, the picture is of him with the clown makeup on. Yeah, that's crazy. He drew that picture too, so that's kind of you know. But it just it's just crazy how it goes to show uh, um, how in reality you know. In the narco world, is not what people always team to always celebrate or want to be like i'm like let's be honest that, that's a doggy dog type of world yeah that, that even your closest friend you may have to either give them up for your family it's or for like your it's sake. like narcos like from netflix it's narcos but three times worse than that that's what i think why three times worse huh? what, what do you mean because that's only giving you certain stories there's so much stories they've been through or st- stuff oh, they yeah. they have done oh, yeah. they probably regret some of the shit they have done oh, but yeah. But not also him. He got out. One of those. What's in one of the brothers? Those Ayano Felix brothers is getting out too. Oh, isn't it? Uh, ben. Uh, no. Um, um something. Eduardo. That yeah, guy. Yeah, that's him. He's the one. Yeah. So, well, he's been in jail for a long time too. What? Since the nineties? No. No, he's been in jail since two thousand seven. Yeah. Two thousand seven. I thought yeah. it was been longer. No, 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 no. He's been in there like that. The one who's been the longest is the oldest one, Benjamin. Is he the one that was on the, the Letterman show? No, that's Ramon. Yeah. But that's crazy, though. He got out, man, after all that stuff that... That's crazy. Well, they say it was, it was his information that gave up, you know... Basically, led, gave the blueprint to get, you know, Chapel. But I wonder what that's going to be, man, because oh, that's rough. You know what? I'm surprised. Like, right now, you haven't heard much of... Uh, El Chapo or Vicente, that their kids having drama as much. Um, Especially after the book came out, I would think it was going to be more of like a raising hell type of shit. I, well, I, 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 that's true. Or maybe the hell is just brewing up because it's. We read the, like the local news in Culiacan and certain places in Sinaloa. Like there's a lot of like people sense there, there's something building up. There's some conflict building up. It hasn't exploded yet, mm-hmm. but people are, are feeling they're like there's there's two op- opposite sides are gonna clash soon. Mm. Yeah. So and here's Mike. He, well, I you can sense it I've, with that. Now this is like, I talked to a, one of our good friends of ours that lives down there. He works mm-hmm. as a he works he works he has his own business. He sells 
like uh, freaking phones and stuff like oh, that. Accessories and like, yeah, he accessories. Has, yeah, okay. he's, 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 he also likes music too. So, and he sounded. You can tell that the people like they know that there's like like little. There's like you can tell the pressure. There's something brewing up there, but people kind of you know keep it to themselves. But you know, yeah. there's something going on there, man. I'm now telling this, you, this is gonna be big, especially um, for those in Mexico people have family in Mexico. How's this gonna happen with El Mencho? Because he's still he's still in play and he looks like he his power is only growing. So at, it comes a point. Oh yeah, well that's where my thing. I'm like, man, what what's gonna happen? There's gonna be something different. It's gonna be happening soon. It's either because if you think about it, how would that work? Because you know you have mental fighting almost in certain in certain states and a lot of them. Well, mental's fighting mostly everywhere. He's fighting almost everyone, and that's also. That might show you he probably has a lot of money to do it, but it also shows you that you can't fight everyone at the same time. But that's why I think he's... I think that's why people say he's into hide. He's hiding more now. Who, Mancho? Yeah, he's, he say he would be... Like, now he's more into, like, hiding in the wilderness. More like El Chapo was before, you know, he got caught. He would just live out in, in La Sierra, but, you know... That's why you can tell he's already, you know... He probably senses, you know, that, you know... You can't get that much power in Mexico before someone, you know... Before they, they come, come, they come knocking, they come on, knocking you. on your door. Yeah, but I don't know, man. I heard it's, it might be hard to get that guy, man. That guy heard. I heard that guy's like he has like a like a hundred guys protecting that guy, like a hundred like people with like Gatling guns with him at all times. At all times. Wow. And like rocket propelled grenades, RPGs. So this guy is like strapped. He's like he's strapped to the gills, man. Yeah, he's like. He's like one of Saddam Hussein's sons. That's how strapped up he is. Like Damn. he's got a lot of weapons. And honestly, that war in in Mitrakhan is just that thing does not stop. That place is in constant state of war, man. Like people are getting there, are getting are getting toe tagged there like every day. Like they capture an area, they take it back. They go back and forth. And the government doesn't do shit. The state government don't do shit. The federal government don't do anything. They just let themselves just murder each other. Why is and, that? Why, why do you think that they don't step in? I think, I should, honestly, I think they just want to find out who's going to win and back whoever's going to win. No one wants to back a loser. Who wants to back a loser? No. Yeah, but when you're the federal government, man, there they is no lo- f- there's no loser. You, the, the losing side is the side against you. Maybe it's more like a, a local politician thing, but I don't understand how everything that whole pl- it literally Michoacan is like literally it's it's Iraq right now. It's a rack. Yeah, I've seen that report. Yeah, man. so many abandoned. Uh, there's so towns. many abandoned towns. People have left, and then it's bad because they go into towns in some areas where they like they burn down like they burn down the clinics, like the hospitals. That's so stupid, bro. And then they burn down the food trucks, like Ban Bimbo, like that. I saw a video where they had burnt three burnt trucks that were going to a town, but they were kind of it, it was like a town under siege, and they were burning everything. Like people could not go enter, people could not leave. And it was just, and it's crazy now because now they're having like drones with explosives. So it's like, it's like an insurgency. Man, it, it's just crazy. When, when is this all going to end? I, like for me, seeing all that, I don't even know what goes through to their mind. Because I'm like, my, in my mind, I'm just like, damn, what the fuck are you guys doing? Yeah. It's, it's just uh, crazy down there, man. Yeah. Some of, you look on some of the videos on the internet. Do you see some fucked up videos down there? Yeah. Like they captured these two guys and basically killed them. They shot them with like 50 cal sniper rifles. Oh. Dude, I was like, damn. That's bad. Oh, I saw this one video. Oh, it was so messed up. They went into like a town around there. I don't know what the name of the town. I don't know what it's called. And they grabbed a guy who didn't want to join one of them. And they're like, you want to, you got to join us. Now we're going to m- m- kill you. And they're like, okay. It's like, he just didn't want to do it. So they shot him. And they cooked them and ate them. Oh. They were cooking them like they were doing like a barbecue. This is like satanic shit. It was dude. so this disgusting. That guy's like, they had like a piece of his arm roasting and they cut him into like, tor- oh my. It, they were eating with tortillas. I was like, why the fuck am I watching this video? It was very interesting. But from there, I just didn't want to see it no more. It was just gross. It just, how it, do you, how low do you have to go to force someone to go fight with you? And when they don't want to, you eat them. That, I mean that's just nasty. That's not nasty. That's devil. That's, that's like they evil are shit. They are satanic worshippers. Yeah, basically, you do that. Yeah. That is satanic worshiping right there. That's I, you, that's you, evil, you know, man. And and it comes to my mind too. Like that's what I was telling you. Like 
when that when that weren't in uh let's say it happens or like you know how people are saying the mm-hmm. they they sense it and it's most likely it's gonna be chapel sons and be something mm-hmm. right mm-hmm. what is that what does that do to them especially when they're fighting and mental in certain other areas I, I honestly i don't know because what it looks like to to how it looks now is that mental is the only really big power and everybody else has small power. And now it's going to be where it's going to be. Honestly, e- um, I won't say it'll be easier for him to control, but it's going to be some people easier say for that, them to get wiped out. Some people out. say that most of those conflicts are not really in between like big ones. They're just small regional people within like other cartels. Like, you know, it's like basically you have like four people fighting, right? Yeah. Like, no, but my, that's my point because Mentor looks like he's a guy who wants more and more power because he's grown ever since. Like, before. I mean, that's what the media is trying to tell you. We don't know. True, but from what our sources say in Mexico, that our non-media, it seems like he generally does want more power. He wants to take over more regions. Yeah. I, so for me, it would be. I think you're. I think you're gonna notice a lot. You're gonna see a lot how things are gonna align after the the elections in the first week of June. Yeah. That's how you're really gonna know how it's gonna be like, because most people these. These uh, what's it called? A lot of these cartel people can't survive unless they control state and local governments. Exactly. So that's how you're gonna know, mm-hmm. like, what is. Because you know, you know? M- remember when before Mencho came in, everybody doesn't. A lot of people don't know that the reason Mencho rose to power was nobody was really paying attention to him, so it allowed him to grow. Mm-hmm. It allowed him to get all these uh, local government officials, mm-hmm. local municipalities, and also some maybe senators, some governors un- in his pocket. To the point where it can allow well, it was it was expand. basically well you know he he rose at the right time well everyone was fighting and he was just stood in his little area and just grew in power that's that's my yeah. point mm-hmm. so there there's gonna be a time where it's like hey you know if there's a split between us you know all cartel who who's gonna get who's that like remember back in 2000 what 2008 2009 uh los beltran leiva were, were, were a part of the you know cartel then when montromo gets caught they do the split and they were they were in war for the longest time. Yeah. You know, like um I don't know if it's still in today, but even back, I don't think so. I even, think those those things, those all the, those things have basically basically I've what I've heard have like basically that that those conflicts have already ended. There might be like other conflicts, but over that that's well look, all everyone's dead. Everyone's dead or in jail. True. So Basically, the, the they basically they, everyone basically killed themselves by just fighting each other for so long. Mm. A lot of people, you know, not. And that's my point. Is there gonna is it, in the in the coming months? Is it possible we see an alliance of people who we never think there would be an alliance again against Mentor? That's that is what the the basis I, I was getting coming. I, where know, I was like, I'm not really, that I don't know. Remember, like for the last, when Losetas were in, when they were really really big. A lot of people basically made an alliance with one another against, you know. Yeah, I was reading a uh, interesting report. There's a little town in uh, in Michoacan that there's like little people, little people that have freaking. They're like they're like town community watchers, and they have like they're really like sm- like really good with the rifles. They're basically like snipers. So I don't know. They they take care of some community in in Michoacan. I was in Guerrero. I don't remember. But there's like eight or nine little people. But these people are they're strapped. They have I, rifles like thirty out six. Well, I don't I don't know who they work with, but, but they say they're community protectors. But my thing is, if they're little people, obviously the rifles have to be modified because you know, I've seen little people shoot hunting rifles. No, no, I'm talking about the big ones. Like I don't uh, know, they don't like have an no, M16 they do not have, AK. They do it. not have fifty cows. They have they probably have eight Ks, but they have they're snipers. They're like a little like I think they're like. They take care of the of some little town. They're like mm. city community policemen or something like that. I don't know. I yeah. saw it on the internet. I thought it was really funny. Yeah. Hey, how can you stop a little person with a sniper rifle? It's That's gonna be true. hard. It's gonna be hard. You can't That's, find them. You know, and especially with camouflage. Psh, it's like but they yeah, don't even exist. It's just it's just crazy how you see, especially you're seeing Vicente come out. You're seeing El Guado uh, El Guado coming out too, isn't it? No, he's no, he got out, but he got locked up again. Oh God! Yeah, okay, they well, can't give that guy a break. All right, so we sent this out, and a few other people are gonna be going out, and it's, it, it, it's gonna be crazy to see how everything goes. Yeah, it is honestly, but I don't know, man. You are, you can already. I mean, s- man, when Chino Antrax got out, he was he was in L.A. for the longest time, returned to Culiacan, and within that same week, he returned. Yeah, he got he got toe tagged. Yeah, that's right. He should just stayed in L.A. LA's great. Why would you want to leave L.A.? You know, know, L.A. is like a miniature Mexico. 
It is basically. He was living all here. He had everything, but I don't. You know, who knows what you know? Who knows what demons he was dealing with? You know, or or, or who just knows what's going through his or mind? He maybe, had FOMO, fear of missing out. Yeah, he wanted to go back to to, yeah. to the life he thought you know that he had before. But when you, when it's like that and you get it's like, it's hard to return back to a life you once had because it's not no longer gonna be the same. I mean, for the longest time, those Antrax had so much power and all that that well, they didn't have power, but they, have inf- they had influence because of that, and then. They slowly kind of, well, yeah, died off. Well, that's the life they chose, you know. Eventually, the odds catch up to you, especially you're in that life. That's crazy. I've heard a lot of now when you sign up to be in that, like the first three months, they don't even pay you. Yeah. You're like trying out. You're it, trying it, not to make the team, and it doesn't make it, in in my in my point in my point of view. Can my, you believe my, that you risk your life mind. for three months? I wouldn't risk my paid. life for three months. That's horse just, shit. Yeah. But, you know, but it's just for me, it doesn't make sense because it's like if you look at Mexico, it is so many all these deaths. It's like there's so many jobs coming up that are lawyers, doctors and all that because of it. It's like why go into one life when you can just go into this one? No, I think it's bad when they try to control everything. Like when they try to control like like you have a, if you have a little arcade in your neighborhood, like you have to pay tax on that. That's, that's retarded. They control all that stuff. I don't know that's kind of dumb. Yeah, it's a true story. That's that's big but, money. You can't you can't operate without them. You have a like a little sticker or says but, that hey, you paid but for I'm the year. But I'm gonna say this. This is for all my single people, lonely people in the U.S. If you ever look, if you feel like you don't, you know, you can't find nobody. I'm gonna tell you this. Go to Mexico. There's a lot of divorcees, a lot of single widows. Single mother capital of the world. Single mother capital of the world. And I'm gonna tell you those those single mothers. They're just looking for someone to, to take care of them and their kids. Wow, you're doing good advertisement. So let's be you're honest. Like a, you're like so, a hey, Mexican eHarmony. So, you know, like how many how many um, Americans didn't you see get when they got their wives? Some of them were from the Philippines. Mm-hmm. You know, it's like you got Mexico down there. Latinas, man, they got it. Especially some <laughs> of them are uh, they've gone under the knife. So they just look uh, they look pretty look pretty good. Yeah, you know what? I saw a messed up video of this one lady on Instagram that she went like she had a whole operation, like you know, body done. They did her in, like they did to her in Tijuana, and honestly, she came out like bad. No, I'm so, telling you, I'm gonna there's... give people advice. Don't get your surgeries in Tijuana. Go no, no, more no, no, like no. you gotta Monterrey go. De- yeah, you gotta go deep. Yeah, Cuyacan. you gotta go in, in deep into Mexico, yeah, and you gotta make don't sure. Don't stick to the border ones, man. No, 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 no. Only you if you, you want to do quick dental work. Yeah, go, go do it. But for surgeries like that, I wouldn't do it in no, Tijuana. I, I wouldn't do it in Tijuana. That's too. risky, no, man. Yeah. You know, but also, you know, like like you said, there's a risk. But also, if you do your homework and you and you talk around the people in the town, they'll tell you go to that doctor. That doctor. Does well, they say that Guadalajara work. is the best one. That's yeah. like number one, and it's really affordable. Yeah. So yeah, and isn't it like nine, eight thousand, or nine thousand? No, or it's cheaper than that. It's like it's four, f- like four to five thousand. Look at that, ladies. Four to five thousand, you can get a bodacious body. Mm-hmm. That's true. If you've if you already have four kids and you don't want to do the work, you know what? Just go under the knife. Yeah, it's true. I, you know, we should get a I sponsor said, to sponsor a girl to get an operation here. Oh, that'd be perfect. We gotta we gotta start uh, sending emails. Yeah, we'll be like, yeah, send one like, like the like the Chico's Tacos. L- 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 hey, would you like to sponsor wow. five hundred dollars for the rate? What's up? Like for me, for my wife, when we have our kids, I'd put I'd pay money for her to go under the knife so she can. You know, feel good because I also, think honestly, I think you also, should. You should do it. Because I was going to say this: genetics play a big part whether how a woman looks older. Yeah, a you lot should of do it. Honestly, part, you know? if you if there's a girl out there, man, you have some money saved up, or if you don't have kids, or you do have kids, if you want to look your best, save your money and go do it. Exactly. The best investment is yourself. I always say. Yeah. Yeah, you know. But I'm true. telling you, for all my fellas out there, just get some dough, get some money. Go down to Mexico. You can find yourself a wife. I guarantee you. She may have a kid or two. Who knows? <laughs> but you know what? You ain't going to be lonely. That's a good one. You should make you a pamphlet. Randy's rants. <laughs> My tips to going to Mexico. Because I'm going to tell you this. I've never seen an ugly rich person or an ugly wealthy. A, a person with money. I've never seen them ugly. I've seen some that are very federally, federally fucked, fairly fucked ugly. I've seen some. It's true. true. In Mexico. Ugly? Yeah. That girl looked kind of bootlegged. And you can, she was riding like an X6 and stuff. A little too no. much operations like that. Hey, there's a limit. No, 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 no. I never said operations. Oh, oh. I said, if, if you're coming from the US and you save your money down there, you can. 
You might not be rich, but you can be well off. Yeah, that's true. In Mexico, yeah, I've never seen. Okay. Uh, I thought, I've never. I thought. I thought you said yeah, I've seen any ugly rich people. I was like, yeah, you see a lot of ugly. No, rich no, people. no, 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 no. Oh, that's tight, though. You know. you know what? I always say, if it makes you happy, do it. Especially, if, you know, go, why not? Exactly. exactly. Take advantage of it, but just but, don't do it in Tijuana. I'm sorry, I love Tijuana. Tijuana you know that place. You know, that's a good, that's but, a cool but, place but, to kick it at. But for but surgeries, yeah, I don't know about that. For any people feeling lonely, any guys feeling lonely. Feeling like nobody loves yeah, me. Yeah, papas and beers, bro. Go Trust to, me, you'll find you'll find your way home after that place. Yeah, go to Mexico. You'll find a divorcee, a widow. I'm telling you, <laughs> divorcee, dude, widow. A, a lot of them before their a significant other passed to the other realm. Let's just say there was a lot of money put into the body. No, work. but you understand, like when all that thing happened, it's all guys getting killed. Guys who you know had families, had wives, and a lot of people. Even people who weren't involved, you know, somebody's got caught in the wrong place and there's a lot of... And this is why I'm trying to connect two different worlds so maybe they can find some happiness. Mm, that's true. Why don't you create an app? Ooh. Mm, what should I call it? Mm, I don't know. Call it WhatsApp. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> but yeah. Um, yeah, but that's crazy though, man. That's, you know... That's you know Mexico, I always say Mexico, Mexico has some good things and some bad things, but yeah, you know, true. hopefully with this COVID shit comes down, things go back to normal, people start traveling... Like I'm dying to go travel there, but I'm I really wanted to go soon, but I think I'm gonna ride out to like around August. Just don't go to Sonora. Whatever you do, don't eat tacos in Sonora. Oh no. yeah. Yeah, Since but I don't travel. think Yeah, I don't know. It's yeah, it's a little mm-hmm. risky. And for yeah. those those who don't know, there's a there's a story why we're saying Yeah, that- well it's a story we heard from a person. This guy who worked with the He worked with the local government. It wasn't local- multiple it wasn't just one person. We heard it from multiple yeah, sources. Yeah, uh, this person that works in a little town in Sonora. I'm not going to name the town. It's more thing in the northern area. But he kind of worked with the local uh, government and um, his job was to pick up dead bodies in the streets. Like, you know, from people got killed, you know. And then people sometimes... Were ambushed. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Or people who just, you know... Or just people who just killed, got killed, you know, for yeah. an accident. Like that. And this guy had like a... He had like a... He had his... Uh, he had a, you know, work with the local government and uh, he met this one guy that this guy offered him to pay him to... To see the dead bodies and like cut out pieces for him to eat. When we say pieces, we're talking about meat. Yeah, like Muscle. a person's calf, arm. Like this guy was like, and this guy was like, are you serious? And the other guy was like, yeah, I'll pay you cash. God damn. And then he's like, they're already dead. He's like, uh-huh. fuck it, why not? But I think that guy was like a cannibal or something who would buy that. He did it. The, well, the person I said he sold it to that person who only sold it like body parts they sold like stuff like that for like a couple only like a year because he was a cannibal but the people you know the people are already dead the people are dead so you know people are dead but i I still kind of i think it's fucked fucked up up. you shouldn't eat no one's arm or leg because it's someone's loved one man yeah how would you feel if like uh, if uh if that happened you know what i mean yeah imagine you know you have a, a a cousin and his name is i don't know gilberto and he got i don't know Joe Biden, whatever. Yeah, you know. ran over, and they find out when they bury him, and his leg is lower <laughs> leg is missing. That's not cool, man. But no. yeah, that was a crazy. But this was this was a while ago. So the the the, the gentleman no longer works then the police, and and I'm pretty Good. sure he never talked to that guy after he quit his job. You know. Good. Uh, I think that would scar me for a little bit. That's dirty, huh? That's beyond dirty. Hey, but they say though, man, that you know human human uh what's it called human like flesh. you know flesh. It's like twenty times. So that's 20,000 times more nutrients than beef. So if you eat human flesh, you get like superpowers. Like you can punch someone in the face and like kill them. Guys, please do not uh, take this as actual facts. Uh, we are not responsible for anything. Yeah, we don't. No, don't. We're yeah, not, con- don't, we're not con- condoning. We're not. Nah, yeah, we're not with no, cannibalism. Not with don't cannibalism. eat people. Don't eat people. But I just the stories because one time I read one time in a book that they, I think they, they killed this one guy who was a cannibal in Central America in the 70s. Yeah. This guy was like literally like six foot three. Ooh. He'd been eating people for like um like ten years. Oh. This guy was so strong, it took like forty shots to bring him down. Oh my dude, that's not even that's not even a that's a bear, that's Sasquatch. Yeah, that's but Sam I was Squatch. like, that's disgusting. Why would the fuck would you want to eat people? I don't know. People a are line has weird. been crossed when you're thinking of doing that shit. Yeah. Like even though those like that that was the, that one, what's it called? The Mex the no the Argentinian soccer team that crashed in the oh, Andes. Yeah. And they, you know, they were trying to survive. That, that's different. That's survival. 
That is survival. That, that's survival. That's, but if you're buying different. that, knowing that's a this. perfectly good supermarket if, down the street, if, then you're if fucked me up. and you were, were stuck somewhere and, and I ended up dying first, I'd tell you, bro, cook me to stay alive. I don't know, Randy. If you don't exercise, you probably taste horrible. So, <laughs> I, bro, we I'd both know. My, I, I'd risk my life eating wild berries. Bro, we both know I exercise more than you. I don't know about that. Yes. yes. Yeah, I don't know. But yeah, yeah. that's a. Just. That's a crazy story, huh? Yeah. When I heard that story, I was like, Ew. but the good thing uh, that it, guy it, quit. Let's be honest. If that did happen, that guy quit and became a born again Christian. So, hey, hey Rafi, I'd let you, you know, if I did pass and we're out in the wilderness, you can't eat me, but you you, you have to eat my ass first. You have to oh. go in through there first. Then you get. <laughs> oh, you know what? We'll leave your ass to the coyotes. Let them go to town on it because I ain't touching that shit. That's dirty though. I think the best part will be like my leg. That's where that's where the most that's where the most nutrients would be for me. Oh jeez. You have that's... to you have to eat my wiener. Is like, there still people? Hey, There's still... Y- you have to eat my wiener like Kobayashi. Uh, <laughs> no, your wang you'll fucking let an armadillo eat it. <laughs> there you go. There you'd be happy, huh? <laughs> yeah, not bad. Yeah, that's uh... That's a line that's really... Hey, that's, uh, but, she didn't um, fuck with that shit. You have to keep my head intact and take it with you so you can bury me in the north. So you have to carry it with you, kind of like Wilson. Mm. Can you do that, at least? Nah, I couldn't do that, man. So you'll leave my head there? Yeah, I would, honestly. I couldn't bear see carrying your head around. Why? Just tie a strap it to your backpack. No, no. I just, I'd probably like try to dig you a hole and just make a mount of dirt on top of you. Yeah. And then I'd, then I'd take off and try to survive. Wow. Wait, is this the desert or the forest I'm surviving in? I'd say forest. I'd Ooh, say forest. forest? Yeah. Nah, I, oh yeah, I wouldn't fucking eat you. There's so many berries and shit. You can survive in the forest, man. Shit, I could survive there for like a week with like nothing. Snowing. Ooh. Full of snow and ice everywhere. Ooh, like the Dahmer party? Yeah. Oh, that's rough. I don't know about that. I don't know. So fuck, you know. Damn, I don't know. I don't, no. That's okay. fucked up. Now desert. Nah, I don't know about that. Desert, you'd be dead. You'd find, you need to find water. Not even you understand when you eat a lot of things as protein, you need a lot of water to you know you digest. Can eat, that. You can drink my urine. That's disgusting. It's water. That's gr- oh, dude, hell no. <laughs> All right, guys, thank you for joining us in another episode of Tots. Uh, Remember, like and subscribe uh, to the YouTube channel, Randy, Randy's Rants. Also, follow uh, the Randy's Rants uh, podcast on uh, Instagram. Also, um, our sponsor, the Chinese. Also, our other sponsor, Triple 20 Music. Mm-hmm. Uh, as always, greatness is one at a time, guys. Thank you, guys. Love you, guys. Bye. Peace. <laughs>